I've heard from many other reviewers, the core class seems to be pretty well liked. I mean, most people think that Optimus Prime figure is meh, but that every other figure in that line is pretty good. So let's see if they're right. Hello, my name is Stitch Productions, and today I'll be looking at core class Vertebrake. And here we have Vertebrake in her dino mode, and it looks very, very nice. This new bone aesthetic is actually very cool, and I was actually very excited with this. Already better than that Kingdom Optimus Prime. Anyway, this figure does have a lot of good looking detail, color work, molding, and everything. This makes me very happy to see the Legends class return, or in this case, Core class. But yeah, uh, this dinosaur is, uh... Draco Rex. Yeah, that one. And this mold is very cool. Uh, there is a... This figure does have some parts forming with the tail that plugs into the butthole. But yeah, uh, people might argue that the hands being on the bottom is very distracting, but I could kind of see that like very forgiving. Since it's bones, it's meant to be hollow and have holes in it. So yeah, uh, for posability, you got a good looking kick and knee. Uh, you got a swivel at the, what is this, ankle? Uh, and head could look up and mouth could open. And oh my god, look at that head sculpt. So cool. I kind of wish that these pins weren't showing just because it kind of gives away from the aesthetic of the figure, but very nice dino skeleton mold and she looks great, honestly. So let's go to the transformation. robot mode this figure looks very very nice now this figure does come with one accessory that being her her tail that's supposed to be like a club sword i don't really know and yeah uh this is actually the first predacon i have in this kingdom line and that predacon logo is very nice to see again and vertebrake is very wait a minute vertebrake that name sounds so familiar Holy crap, this is Vertebrake from Transformers Prime Beast Hunters line. Hasbro, you you devilish dogs. You you pranked me into getting the same character. Oh, now I now I don't want her. Nah, I'm just kidding. Both Vertebrakes are different, even though they have the same name, and I'm glad to have both of them. Now, going back to it, Vertebrake can hold the sword in her hold her sword in her hand, and why doesn't she follow the same system that Prime did with the three millimeter handle? I don't really know. But you can place a little siege blast effect on there, or you can put it in Prime's hand, I guess, but who who's gonna buy Prime, honestly? Uh, that's pretty much it. I will say I have very little complaints about this figure. I mean, the only complaints I have are the face sculpt is kind of weird. I mean, like, not weird in a cool sense. It's just, like, it doesn't really fit Beast Wars, in my opinion. I always imagine these weird, wacky faces and just having a face with goggles. I mean, it's okay. It's a good face sculpt, but just weird in a Beast Wars-esque line you know and the body is weird but like i'm but like i mentioned i feel like the body fits beast wars but the head sculpt doesn't fit beast wars and it would have been cool if it came with a better weapon but the weapon doesn't look that bad so yeah uh that's about it for the uh robot mode for posability uh head could look left and right t pose swivel at the shoulder swivel at the elbow can do the splits has a swivel here, a knee, and a swivel at the ankle. So overall, some decent posability. So let's go to the size comparisons and go to my final thoughts. For size comparisons, here we have Kingdom Vertebrake with Iron Tread, Blitzwing, Sound Barrier, Sideswipe, Grapple, Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime, and Kingdom Optimus Prime. And yes, these figures do scale since they're the same line, but there's definitely a clear difference in aesthetic to both of these figures. And I will explain my final thoughts on the core class. So after receiving this figure, this is giving me hope for the core class. Not, I've always known that we're getting Rat Trap and potentially this skeleton alligator thing. But why aren't we getting more core class figures? Why are they all G1 characters? I honestly don't know why. Maybe it's supposed to fit in with that arc figure. I don't really know, but I really wish we got more core class fossils or Beast Wars things. I don't really know what else they could do, but it would be cool if we got more stuff. But 
For Vertebrake, I highly recommend her. Yes, she is very different from the Prime design, but who really cares, even? Uh, hope you all enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And always remember, I'm a 16-year-old that wastes all his money on Transformers plastic toys. Bye-bye, guys.